This tutorial asks us to find the GCF and LCM of 12, 15, and 18. Now, in previous examples, we've used the latter method or double division. In this case, I'm actually just going to use prime factorization uh, for two reasons. One is I want you to see how to use prime factorization. And two, I find prime factorization is better when I have to find the LCM in particular of three or, or any more than two uh, different numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the prime factorization of each of these. So 12 is 3 times 4, and 2 times 2. Circle my primes. 15 is pretty quick. It is 3 times 5. And 18 2 times 9, and then we can say 3 times 3. So I'm going to write these all out now uh, using uh, exponential form. So 12 is equal to 2 squared times 3. Fifteen is equal to 3 times 5. 18 is equal to 2 times 3 squared. Now, just like in the previous examples, what we're going to do now is we are going to compare powers. And so, and so the key for this is when you're trying to find the GCF, trying to find the GCF, what you're looking for is the lowest power of the shared factors. Of the shared factors. I'll write that here. And for the LCM, what you're looking for is the highest power of each factor. So it doesn't necessarily have to be shared to be a part of the LCM, but the GCF, the factors need to be shared. So let's do this. We'll, we'll, we'll highlight the uh, factors for the GCF in yellow, so we'll do those ones in yellow, and then we will do the uh, LCM ones in pink, so you can kind of see the difference here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for shared factors um, for in, in all three of these numbers. So if I look for the, at the number 2, I see that 2 is a factor of 12, and it's a factor of 18, but it's not a factor of 15. So 2 is not a shared factor. It doesn't make up part of the GCF. 3, on the other hand, 3 appears in, uh, as a factor of 12, it's a factor of 15, and it's also a factor of 18. So that's a shared factor. So now I'm looking for the lowest power of 3. And the lowest power of 3 is 3 to the power of 1. Now, yeah, it appears in the 12 and in the 15, but I only need to highlight it one time. So the GCF, in this case, is equal to 3 because that's the only uh, shared factor and it's the lowest share, lowest uh, power of 3. For the LCM, I'm looking for the highest power of every factor. So here I have a, a 2 and I have no 2 in the 15 and I have 1, 2 in the 18. So I need to compare these factors. What I really have, if you think about it, is 2 to the power of 2, and here is 2 to the power of 1. So 2 to the power of 2 is clearly higher, so that will be part of our LCM. Now 3s also appear in the 12, and in the 15, and in the 18. It doesn't matter that it's shared. All that matters is that I do have a 3, and I need the highest factor of 3, which will be 3 to the power of 2. And lastly, I have a factor of 5 for 15. It's not shared, but I, it is still included in our LCM because it is the highest factor uh, or highest power of that particular factor. So once again, the LCM, we're looking for the highest power of each factor. So let's put all those together. It is 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 which if we expand that all out, uh, 4, 9, and 5, 4 times 5 is 20, and 20 times 9 is 180. 
So the LCM of 12, 15, and 18 is 180, and the GCF of 12, 15, and 18 is 3.